Demeter. All right, what's up, everybody? It's Lids, and we're back for some more Hades. And of course, last time we were close, but couldn't quite take out Dad with his own spear. So let's take a look at what we have for our setup this time. And we will be going for, oh, I honestly didn't even check us to which keepsake we had. Apparently, we're keeping with the broken spear point, so uh, sure, we'll roll with that. And we are going with Aspect of Zeus, the new aspect that we just unlocked on our shield that will allow us to turn our special into a blitz disc. Something like this right here. So let's get going. Demeter to start us off. What will we get from her? Too once lost a child, Sacrius. I was quite foolish. Her father was a baseborn farm boy, worshipped me. He's gone as well, of course. Only the cold remains. You're our grandmother, first and foremost. So I assume that means that you are referring to our mother. Not sure I realize is actually technically only a demigod in that case. If you are her mother, but then it sounds like you're saying a mortal. Human was her father, and then that makes us also technically not 100% god. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. Interestingly, we have not yet picked up the Demeter special. This is epic rarity, and I feel like that might be a decent combination with our new aspect. The aspect of Zeus shield, because I would think that Blitz disc could hit people numerous times, so applying multiple stacks of chill could be doable yeah let's give that a shot okay i'd say that was probably up there in terms of types of uh foods we would prefer for our special i think special will ultimately be one of our most important boons for us to pick up well with the aspect that we have being primarily special aspect uh i was thinking there might have been a fishing spot there but apparently not we could go for the key, but I mean, we're, we're gonna go Chaos, right? All right? We gotta go Chaos. Getting it this early is always big. Hope that it's useful, of course. But at least that means that we'll have the negative side of Chaos when the enemies are easiest to take care of. Chaos is onto us. Oh dear, uh, yes. Oh, Master Chaos. I, I don't think you ever want to lie to Chaos. I her already. Though where she is, I cannot stay for long. So I'm visiting as often as I can. It's not unlike our visits here. Only somehow even harder to get to where she is. That's an interesting comparison. I suppose that's pretty accurate, yeah? I see. It is good to know that you have been in contact. And I trust that your successive visits shall be worth their while. Oh, no. thanks, Chaos. That's what you have for us this time. We do have epic rarity for every time we cast, we take damage, but afterward we get plus 64 face life. That is that is good. Otherwise, we can't see our chamber rewards, but afterward we get an additional bloodstone. Or, ooh, can't earn coins, but afterward we get the special damage. I mean, we were talking about how we would like to prioritize our special just before, so I think we gotta go that route, right? Oh, wait, what? Hold on. What, what was the downside? It was no coins? No obels. Okay. We can make that work. Just means that shops, mm, not gonna see any of those for a while in all likelihood. As what we prioritize getting here, should restore some HP with some darkness. Of course, we took a little bit of damage going through into the Realm of Chaos, so let's go that route here. We can still special and we can still cast. I'm pretty sure we're... I was gonna say, the first cast went through a wall, I'm pretty sure. Somehow it still worked. Don't ask me how. Let's throw that over there and take you guys out. We're looking at another wave. That we are. Ooh, you guys, you gotta go. Let's get our shield back. Throw some casts at you. Oh, we're, we're out. Please go away. There we go. Okay. Darkness. Heal up some of that damage that we took from Chaos. Don't think we took any damage in that room there. Get some max HP. That was tempting to go that route with the Chaos Boom, but this will perhaps make up for it a bit, not having chosen that. Yeah, come here. I'll just punch you into 
are special. That's an interesting option there. We do something like this, and then we, uh, we say, hey, get over there. Get over to the shield. I mean, he didn't quite get all the way over there, but might be something we could make happen in the future. If you're pinned in a corner like that, that's probably the ideal scenario, and then we definitely don't want to hit you in the opposite direction of our shield. That would be counterproductive, but if you can just heal there, if you know what I mean, then that would be great. Yeah. All right. So we'll take the HP. And, oh, golden urn. Don't forget about that. Any other golden urns or anything of that sort hiding there? I don't think so. Pick up some nectar. Okay. Who's next? These guys? Okay. You are probably mobile enough that it's going to be hard to make things work. With the special? Okay, we can get you to hang out there. That's great. More you? Yeah. Let's actually have it follow us on its way back. And then as long as you are also following us, then we could, say, do a lot of that. And that could be helpful. These are casts. Take it out that way. Okay. We got a little bit of rhythm here. Different enemies this time, though. Numbskulls. Oh, and still, one of you. Get rid of the numbskulls and then focus on the big guy. Have it follow us again. And that way, as you're chasing us, you get hit. Don't do that. There we go. Okay. That's something. And that will level up our special, and in doing so, brought us from, I think it was 111 extra damage to 135, so also, that's good. More darkness. Let's take you guys out. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of, a lot of numbskulls here. Throw some cast at you. Throw that special. There we go. Not too bad. My boon from Master Chaos has evolved. Boon is now evolved, and that was special damage, was it not? So yeah, 55 from that, and then 135. Yeah, that's starting to add up pretty quickly. So if we can find anything else to further increase our special damage, that would be fantastic. So we did, of course, not gain any coins there. That was the downside of the Chaos Boons. That means the shop is only 105 coins, or 102, actually. Not best, I would think. This is a mini-boss for Zeus. As for which one... Oh! Yeah, uh, I think this is maybe not the best place in which to find ourselves. If we could have our special hanging out over there. That'd probably be useful. Let's punch you over next to our special. No, no, special. Stay there. Take it out. There we go. Not so bad. Not so bad. One less giant evil crystal then. Yeah. We can pin enemies in the corner, use our special. It it works. Zeus, how can you compliment this setup here? Got a frigid hold on you. Certainly not the warmest member of the clan, now is she? But do be patient with her, she's been through a lot. Okay. Whoa, you could swap out. Demeter's special for yours would give us a heroic special. And it's interesting, it would make it so that lightning bolts strike nearby foes, make it easier to take out multiple enemies with our special. But I think overall damage would probably, or at least single target damage, would certainly be lower. I think that I do like both of those, yes. But we might prefer to just get some damage of a different variety, and an epic cast is not a bad thing. Let's go with that route. It is tempting. Thunder and lightning. You made me think. You could make a case that that is worthwhile to go with the Zeus Spoon there. But I think we'll prioritize for the single target damage instead with our special and use our cast. Beam around like that. Throw that back out. Get some bloodstones back. And try not to hang out around top of where that enemy is going to spawn. Okay, there is a throw here. Um, please go back over there. There we go. What kind of trove? Well, let's get the darkness first. It is a coin trove, which would be a good way to make up for our lack of coins we picked up earlier. And I thought I heard fishing spot. Yes. Okay, let's do this. What lurks in the river sticks? You shall see. It will be a hellfish. Got a hellfish. Okay. Nice. Then yes, I think this is certainly worthwhile. We could even pick up a coin route after that. If we're concerned about the ovals, I mean, getting a free heart is also certainly a good thing. So. Don't know to what extent we want to make up for not having had obols previously, but this is certainly a way to make it happen, at the very least. That's where we go for the room as well after this. We'll see how much we end up with 
after this. And wow, okay, uh, our Zeus cast, it's, uh, it's working pretty well for us, I'd say, right about now. I'm liking that. I couldn't tell you when the last time I had a Zeus cast was. A while ago, I think. I think technically those did open up on us and uh, would have hit us Cheers. if we had not completed the room at precisely the same time because we had a little X over there. I think we didn't take damage from that. So yeah, I think let's go for the heart. Another case of, you could make the case. You could certainly make the case that it would be worthwhile for us instead go for the coins. Okay, who's next? More you guys? Uh, that is not doing much for us. That special over there. Let's bring it back. And do we have our special? We do. Or our cast, rather. Let's do that. I think those spikes did just barely get me there. Do we want that blood stone? There we go. Okay. A little bit of damage. Maybe just from the spikes, but not too bad. And I may have even heard another fishing spot. I don't see any water here, so I'm not sure where, but probably making that up. Uh, Sisyphus or Darkness? I think we gotta go Sisyphus, right? This could be another way to make up a bit for the lack of obols. Ahoy! How are you? I say, tell me something, Prince, if you don't mind. How come you're so intent on getting out of here? I mean, what happens when you do? Have we told Sisyphus yet? Maybe not? Sisyphus, you ever lose somebody dear to you? There's someone out there whom I need to find. That's all that I can say right now. Suppose? I get it, Highness, and I didn't mean to pry. It's just, I can't remember what it's like to want something so bad, you know? Whoever's out there, I hope you find them soon. Thanks, Sisyphus. Okay, so we could get some healing. I don't really think we need that. We're not quite on full HP, but if we were to say take darkness, that'd probably be enough healing right there to get us back to full. Or we could go for the ovals, I think we probably do. And then at that point in time, we probably made up for all the rooms in which we did not get ovals previously. Thank you, we should be good now. And next we have, well, an oval room. So certainly, that should put us in a pretty good place there. More witches. Yeah, I'm liking this Zeus cast. Like I said, I can't remember when I last took it. I do not really remember it, but it's been seemingly quite good for us thus far. Especially in, yeah, rooms like this. Just dash over the spikes there. Pick up our bloodstone. Bring the shield back and then throw it back out. Shred you guys. Alright. So we can go Artemis, Golden Earth. And I think that is our only option here. So Artemis it is. That's how that can complement things. I mean, if we could get crit across the board, it applies to our special. That could be useful for sure. Let's use the cast, actually. Not so much the special here. Missed on that one. That's not going to help. Uh, who's left? Just you guys. Get rid of the range enemies first, I think. And Missed on that one as well. Get the special back out there, right? You? This is a long room, seemingly. You guys do not want to stop coming in. We re-special. Cross the bridge. Cross the gap. There we go. Okay. Artemis, what do you have for us? Hey, you're not alone. You're not alone down there, okay? Here, let me show you. Oh, thanks, Artemis. We could have her aid could have pressure points for yeah pressure points would be that crit that applies to special as well i mean they are both epic rarities so that does catch my attention we could go for the hunter dash as well for dash strike damage i do like finding ways to get damage on the special because that is what we're trying to focus on for now so getting crit on that especially when it hits so frequently i would think we'd be able to get those crits to proc fairly often Let's give this a shot on the, prowl. the epic aid is not bad at all don't get me wrong, but I think we'll try to get one of those soon. And here is a shop with 540 obols. to be able to do some damage here, and this might be the last room before the Fury fight. Yes. Okay. So we've not yet seen Aphrodite. 
Do we want to introduce Aphrodite into the equation, or would we rather try to prioritize people that we already have? We have Demeter, Zeus, and now Artemis, and they've all been epic rarity boons, so that's been pretty great from a rarity standpoint. I think we definitely do want to get the max HP. Let's go that route, and then... Sure. Yeah, let's take Aphrodite as well. And more epic rarity, so again, going well in that regard. When if, when foes are slain, they damage nearby foes and inflict weak. Does sound pretty great. Otherwise, after we take damage, damage foes around us and inflict weak. This is good when we get damage, this is good when we take people out. Inflicting weak, where we end up on our dash, does mean if we're trying to avoid enemies, we can also make them deal less damage, because of course weak makes them deal less damage. I wish it were inflicting weak where we start our dash, though, because presumably we're trying to dash away from harm, not into harm. Not always the case, but I'm thinking Dying Lament. I'm all worked out. Again, it, a lot of good options there. No golden urns here. I think we can probably pass on the darkness for now, save some of our obols. As for which fury we're going to have here, I'm guessing Pacific. That it is. Oh, okay. Uh, well, straight into things, apparently. Good to see you too. Uh, if you could, yeah, could just like chill. Which I, I recognize is not really your thing. But yeah, just like chill, actually, no, like right here, that would be lovely. It's a little bit closer. Yeah, like right there. Is our, is our special still hanging out there? No, not quite. We wanna try to get it so that it hangs out right where she is. Because it does travel distance and then it sort of hovers in place. Get you to stay right there. Oh, almost. And okay. eh, we'll use the cast. I was trying to focus, ex uh, yeah, specifically on the on the special there, but uh, didn't quite work. That's a wall. Nah, doesn't count. Doesn't get stuck on there. And then I focusing a little too much on maximizing the damage on the special there. But I think as the arena gets smaller, of course, it does make specifically stronger. Yes, but will make it easier for us to stack up more of the uh, special as well. Kind of like this. Oh, I forgot you have that area of effect at the end of your move there as well. Okay. You lost your next phase yet? Surprise. There we go. So yeah, now we're in a very small arena. I would expect this should be a place where, well, if I didn't throw <laughs> our special down that narrow little hall, we might have been able to get it to hit her a lot, such as right here. Oh no! <laughs> Stay over there! Stay right here. No, oh, and then she stunned me. Okay, maybe focus more on Sisyphne, less on our shield. I know it's tempting. I know it's tempting. But still, yeah, it seems like for some reason in this specific fight, our shield is not lingering as long in this position here. Like, that's where we want it, absolutely. And there we go. When we do get it in the right place and it can hit nonstop, that's fantastic. But for some reason there, it seemed like it wanted to return to us more quickly than usual. The darkness, almost enough to get us back up to full HP, and then of course we'll heal a bit when we go through here as well. So let's do that. And then we did take the broken spear point, which is, I like it at the end of the game, when we're facing the more difficult enemies and bosses, but maybe less significant early on, so I, I honestly didn't necessarily intend to put it there, I forgot to switch our keepsake. So, now that we have a sense as to what we're looking at from a build standpoint, with some Demeter and Zeus, a lot of special we're trying to do, some crit from Artemis, are there any specific gods or goddesses that we want to make a point of adding? Like, could we... I don't think there's any way to say add poison, or hangover, I should say, with uh, someone like Dionysus. That would be great, because we're attacking so quickly on our special, but I there's no way of making that happen. So, other people that we would like? I don't think Dionysus is the answer for that reason. Maybe we do already have Aphrodite. Don't have any Athena. Maybe defensively that could be helpful. We have a pretty strong offensive setup at the moment, but not much defensively in particular. So, that could be a decent option. Or uh, damage against undamaged foes. I think we're getting little hits. And so, not gonna be... I think this works best for big hits so that you're 
maximizing the damage on that that first hit when you have an undamaged bow. Whereas we're gonna be doing exactly the opposite of that this time. It's not so much there. Could maybe even go for distant memory. Damage to distant foes if we're throwing out our casts and special for most of our damage, then that might not be a bad idea. Get the extra damage from that. Let's give that a shot, maybe. All set. Then I don't really think we want to sell anything in terms of picking up items. Life restoration for I have Lamia, don't think that's necessary. Again, damage to undamaged foes. Also, don't think that's much for us here. Guaranteed Trove is potentially nice, depending on what kind it is. Life Trove would probably do next to nothing for us, but anything else probably would still be a net benefit. So let's take it. Nothing else in here. So let's head out. That's enough Tartarus. And the other thing is, I think I saw that we've actually only ever made it out of Asphodel with a shield. Never been farther than that. Never made it through Elysium or Styx for that matter. So that is another reason why we're making a point of using the shield now. Just make sure there's not anything else in here, but nope. Alright, Palm. We do have some strong boons already. So to upgrade some of them. Normally I would say Palm is pretty low on the list of things you'd want to pick up, but on this occasion, might be better than usual. Okay, you guys. Well, let's not dash into the lava if we don't have to. That's probably not terribly useful. And then he does it again. Okay. There we go. There's got to be another wave, right? Here's our guaranteed throw. This is another place where we could make a point of throwing these at you. In a place where, well, you get stuck with a special right on top of you. That'd be great. But uh, you did kind of just jump away from it as soon as you threw it out there. And you're different. Knock you in the lava. That's good. Get our ooh, cast back. But okay, down to the lava, apparently. What do we want to upgrade? We have actually already upgraded our Frost Flourish once, so it is getting a little bit less from the upgrade this time around, so I think it is still, of course, our primary source of damage, so let's go for this one. We might want to upgrade other things next time around. And then the Trove, what kind is it? It's Gems, which is probably not that high on our priority list, but ooh, we have Eurysity next, or Hammer, oh man. That's a tough decision. I mean, Eurysity is fantastic. So can be the hammers, so that's okay. Let's go with the probe for now, and maybe we can think about what we want to do next. Okay, you guys are a little bit nasty. Your ranged attacks there. Get our special back out over there, where there are a bunch of enemies. Take out. Yes, that worked quite well. Don't think we took any damage there. It was mostly just the lava that we stepped in previously. So, yeah. Eurysity or Hammer, I love them both. But I think you gotta go with Eurysity. Let's get out of both here. of them can be game changers, for sure. And we don't yet have any Hammer upgrades, so next time we see one of those, we'll definitely want to pick it up. But Eurysity is a little rarer. Of course, we can only run into her here in Asphodel. What's the latest, hon? Anything been happening down in your fancy house lately? Uh, you... Yeah, you could probably say that about many things happening there. Well, you mentioned Orpheus. My father had him locked up for a little while for refusing to sing, being court musician and all. But he's out now and doing okay, I think. Probably. Sort of. Not following instructions, huh? Sounds like Orpheus, all right. Ooh. Well, yeah, that's, that's harsh. the most exciting thing you've got going on, then I haven't missed much being out here. Yeah, there's more. There's more. But we could do any of a number of things with Eurysity here. We could have two random boons of ours upgraded to rarity, next rarity, and we do already have some pretty high rarity boons. And we do I think we like all of them. So that would be pretty great, changing something from epic to heroic rarity. We could also have boons gain additional levels for boons of that, so that'd be everything here. That's also pretty great. Or have the next boons that we pick up higher rarity all of these are fantastic so what do we go for i think level we can get that from future palms so i think we don't go for this as for whether we prioritize getting additional rarity on future boons or our current boons i think we like the boons that we have right now let's go for this and we'd probably prefer to have our special and take your pick in terms of which one 
we get upgraded on top of that. So it's Frost Flourish is the one that we really want. Coming right up. And we get Pressure Points and Dying Lament. Okay, we did not get the special. We did get Pressure Points, which means more crit, which can indirectly affect Frost Flourish for sure. And then it was Dying Lament, meaning that when we take people out, we deal 93 damage to other nearby foes. Okay, so not ideal, but I think still strong. As to whether the hammer would have been better, of course, no way of knowing. But, like I said, we can only pick up the Eurystice here, so we made a point of taking her when we could. Alright, it's just you. You have some pretty nasty combos. I, that was just nowhere near you. It was cast there. Yeah, like, you just use attack after attack and just never stop. There we go. Get our Bloodstones back. More of you. Looks like it. You could just chill right there. Uh, sort of, but not exactly. And that was definitely not the place to throw that. Oh, hey, keep on running. Stop running, dude. There we go. Okay, probably gonna be another one. That there is, uh, different types of enemies this time. Let's get this back. Throw you over here instead. You have the combos, so try to stay away from that. You have one bloodstone remaining. Throw that out. Throw you into the lava. Bloodstone's back. Use those to, well, in, on one occasion, hit you. The other, not so much. I see you trying to throw that at me. I was really hoping you could jump into that explosion. Where'd you go? Somewhere over here? There we go. Some more gems. And in terms of our next room, we have Mini Boss Demeter or Shop. We're on 264 ovals. Thought I might have heard something else here, but apparently not. So, Demeter, we have the special from her. Is there any way we can use further Demeter boons to complement that? Perhaps? I think that, of course, if the shop did have a hammer upgrade, that would be fantastic. We could afford it, but there's no way of knowing definitively if that would be the case. And, Oh, I am, I'm not good at this room. I do not have enough practice on this room. Lots of witches. We can block some of their attacks with our shield like that, but I am not really used to what the best, or I don't yet know what the best strategy is for this room here. We could get rid of one of you. That'd be fantastic. And we might have done that. Not sure. Out of Bloodstones. Special. we we'll take out one more of you, perhaps. That'd be great. Okay. Wait wait for the projectiles. Uh, I'm not sure they're ever going to stop, so maybe not. Okay, there's another one down. You, uh, you're flying, so the lava doesn't really do any damage to you. Okay, we definitely have Bloodstones back. There's another one down. Okay, now let's get you. Is that enough? No, not quite. Hold on. There we go. Okay. I think, compared to other times, we've, I've fought those guys definitely less damage than usual. So we could have attack chill, we could have a Demeter call, or we could have all foes, when all foes are chilled, they are 20% slower and decay. A means 40 damage every Whoa! 40 damage every second? That's crazy. For 8 seconds? Oh no, well that's chill. Uh, yeah. That's, that seems like with our special, we can inflict a fair bit of chill. So that's not out of the question that we could make that happen. Of course, Demeter's Aid, I'm surprised, but apparently does have a scroll here. But I think this works more synergistically with what we have at the moment. Getting Frost Strike could also be helpful because that would mean that we'd be having another reliable way of applying chill, but let's stick with this for now. And then in terms of where we go next. Oh, wait, was that something we can examine here? It is. The act of sorcery often ends in an untimely death and an eternity in Tartarus for careless souls, though some are able to perfect the trade and take a permanent residence elsewhere. Oh, yes, yeah, so they're up here in Nashville. So the witch's circle will reconvene soon enough. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, so it looks like it is Hermes. Which could be another god boon that could be very helpful to what we have going on at the moment. Straight, you guys. Let's block these. 
throw the shield. Block these. We take out as many as we can early on. I think that is all of them. Or nearly all of them, except they're all back now. Oh, I threw that. Expecting him to still be there. Now we have one of you. You're down. Might just be you remaining. Let's get the shield going somewhere more useful. Please stop running away. Right, like I said, please stop running away. Okay, we have our blood zones back, so let's just throw those and miss on almost all of them. Nah, we got two out of three. Hermes, what do you have for us? Well, we have gotten a lot from Demner, and the epic boons continue. If we were to go with quick recovery after dashing, we can get some of our life back. Otherwise, we can have quicker casts. If we could have quicker specials, that would be so great. But cast, I mean, we are using that fairly aggressively, or have it so that our bloodstones drop more quickly. That, uh, I mean, this almost could be more helpful. I mean, this is more defensive, yes. But this... I think let's go with quick reload, actually. I think it just fits a little bit better when we're relying more heavily on our casts. And we have gems or keys. I'm not sure we have much of a preference here. We, well, I think keys for the most part are, uh, we don't have much use for them anymore. We've, I think, unlocked just about everything we need, so it's mostly just a matter of at the Wretched Broker, which one would we rather have? We definitely sell things of the gem variety to unlock, so probably means that gems are better. At least in this circumstance. Oh, that would have been a great place for you to just spend some more time hanging out there. We had the special lined up perfectly, like that. Will you stay there? Yes. No! <laughs> You're supposed to stay there! Had it lined up perfectly. Okay, now we'll throw the cast. And those bloodstones should come back more quickly, so that should mean use those more aggressively. That will be nice. That gets you. Bloodstones are over here. And you have run away as well. Okay, let's get this bloodstone back, please. Take you guys out. You did hit us, I think. Special, uh, might have done a little bit there. Ow. Definitely hit us there. Pass. Clean things up. Uh, I'll follow up with some attacks. Dock into the special. And there we go. Okay. A little bit of gems. And for our next rooms, we can go to a shop. We have now 336, so we could do a fair bit of damage there. Hearts. That looks like it. Just double check if there's anything down here. I don't... So, doesn't look like it. Okay, so free heart, but of course there will be enemies versus shop. I think what are we on? 175 life to get to 200 in Aspidel would be pretty solid. But the shop has perhaps more upside in that we could get some useful boons or even a hammer, which would be fantastic because we don't yet have any of those. Let's see what we have. This is the last room for the boss fight, and we can get ooh, a random boon and. Some life, of course, this life we have to pay for, whereas the life in the other room would have been free. I'll pay for that. And then, oh, Charon, you have something to say to us? Um, Charon, mate. I don't suppose you've given any further thought to my proposal to just, you know, ferry me up to the surface, seeing as it's not out of your way. And that would be quite convenient. Does, does that mean yes? I'll take that as a no. Apparently not. What if we, say, gift you nectar? Maybe? Does that make you happy? You enjoy that, mate. When it comes time to reconsider your price structure, hope you think of me. <laughs> yeah, just make everything a little bit cheaper, please. Okay, let's try this boon here. And it's Demeter. Ooh, okay. We have a few things that we've not yet picked up. A few scrolls here. It may just be that we haven't done much with Demeter. So we can have our dash shoot a gust ahead of us that inflicts chill. Again, we do theoretically want to get as much chill as possible, as we do have killing freeze, so that when all foes are chilled, they take a lot of decay damage. 
Otherwise, snow bursts whenever we cast. We damage foes around us and inflict chill. We are using casts pretty aggressively, so that could help, yes. But the damage is not that high. And frozen touch, after you take damage, inflict damage and completely chill your foe. Hmm. That, I don't know how how consistently we would be applying it. It does also have a scroll. I'm not a huge fan of inflicting chill ahead of us. Again, I feel like, generally speaking, we're dashing away from people. I mean, maybe not all the time. But I just don't love any of these, really. Let's try going with this one. I suppose this is sort of the most defensive in that if you do get hit, then you chill whoever attacked you, and that means that if they're completely chilled, they're going to be a fair bit slower, so you can probably escape more easily. Oh, that's cold. Okay. Then, are there any gold urns here? I find that it's usually pretty hard to see if any of these are gold, because some of them are kind of hidden, but I don't think there are any. So, as to whether we would have preferred going this route or just getting up the free heart, eh, hard to say. That Demeter boon wasn't amazing. As for learning... Yeah. Let's throw the cast. And throw the special. Oh, that was not really the direction in which I want to throw the special. This is. And you are a pretty stationary foe. So yeah, if we could get the shield to chill right on top of you, that would be amazing. So I don't think it did. What? There's a, a hoof? Where'd that come from? Okay, these, I think, spawn enemies when that duration reaches zero. So we don't want to let that happen. That's definitely a hoof. I was still in the range of that. Okay, now... You have completed your first phase. Okay, I don't like the ones that shoot the laser beams. I'd like to prioritize getting rid of you. I you dodged right as I was throwing that. Is there another laser beam one, or was that just you? Okay, let's get this back. No, no other laser beams. you guys. Okay, got the bloodstones back. Use those on you. Throw out. Oh, the special's over there. It's already thrown out. Cast can do it. That it does. Okay, we don't have any bloodstones right now, so let's just throw the special and try to get it to land right in the middle. Shred the bone hydra. And that it appears to be doing. That's what we're looking for, more than anything. Throw some more casts at you. Seems like its big attack is basically just to make the, the hoof or head, whatever it is. I don't actually know. I think it looks like a hoof. That seems like it makes more sense for it to be a hoof stomping you, but other people told me it's a head. I don't know. Still not at your next phase, but now you are. Okay. You... Were you a laser beam? You are definitely a laser beamer. Get rid of you. Bloodstone back, yes, you are a laser beamer. Confirmed. Uh, there, there are too many of you. What I don't like about them is that they can hit us from basically the entire arena. They just have too much range. So when we have a crowded fight like this, where are there three of them? It means nowhere is safe. I think this one might be one as well. And remember, we do have the ability to make it so that when everyone is killed, they take damage. But that's coming from only our special right now. And like we were saying, we would ideally find a way to get that elsewhere. There's the other laser beam. I think you're next on the list, though. Really hoping that would arc hit the other head and did it. Uh, not quite. There we go. Now it's gone. That one's gone as well. Our HP is a little bit low here. Throw cast now. Get all of you. you take some damage process there, though. Throw this, throw the special. And we should be close now. There we go. Those heads down. Now just the main head. We should be expecting whatever the big thing is to come down and try to hit us soon. Did I hit the target with that special? It might have been just off. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually a cool guy. And now there's the hoop or whatever it is hitting us there. Okay, will that special will hang around right there, or will it move a little too much? Oh, okay, this is now getting a little scary with the damage here. We should not be taking this much. 
And I dash straight into that. Out of Bloodstone. I'd like to throw this out here. Uh, please go down. No Bloodstones yet. Come on. Yo, when can you dodge this? There we go. Surprisingly, well, a little bit more difficult of a Hydra fight than I was expecting. Darkness does give us some life back, but even once we heal after this one, not sure that we are going to be full. I don't think so. So, yeah, could have been a little better on that front for sure. That gets us to, well, about 75% HP in terms of... Which keepsake we want to keep? Do we want to stick with Distant Memory for the extra damage against Distant Foes? How did we like that one? It didn't seem like it was doing that much for us, to be honest with you. Not sure we want to hold on to it. Now that we're into Elysium, we are expecting, of course, to run into more difficult enemies. And do we want to guarantee that we have one god or goddess show up here? If so, who would it be? Do we want to guarantee more Demeter? In case we do really want to get more of... The chill booms, like probably the attack being the most reliable source of chill remaining. Or, I'm not sure what else we would go for here. We have already used the spear point, which means, of course, that we cannot switch back to it. So I was talking about how I like it at the end against difficult bosses, but that won't be an option. So, yeah, maybe we do. We do embrace Demeter. And in terms of this shop here, damage to armor, special damage or restore some HP. I know this would be an overheal, but I think that might be good just to get rid of that pressure of walking into Elysium, which is of course more difficult without full HP. Would find that of course our, our next room might be a darkness room and we might heal up to close to full. The Chimera Jerky also would help us deal a lot more damage. Oh, prophecy foretold. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what it might've been, but Sure thing. So let's head up. It does mean that we spent a fair bit there, and so we're probably going to want to avoid shops for a little while longer until we have nice and more ovals. And, well, this could be a way to make that happen. Or, do you have a lot of good boons here? So the palm, palm would be helpful if we could upgrade some of our heroic rarity boons, like Dying Lament, that could be also very useful to us. I've already upgraded Frost Flourish a lot. I think at this point the diminishing returns would probably make it such that another palm is not all that great for that one. Let's go with the ovals in case we do find a shop soon. It at least covers us in that regard. We probably, if we have the choice, we would prefer to avoid a shop, but we may not have the choice. We may have a room where the only one we can go into is a shop. This I like when everyone's right next to each other like that. That worked out quite well for us. Okay, we could just take you guys out and then worry about the heal dude over there. That would be preferable. There for you before you respawn. And is there another one over here? No, we got rid of it. Okay, you. You're the only one remaining right now. Take you out. Knock you into the trap. Oh, I thought it was going to work, but there we go. Either way, take you out there. Yeah, so now, I think we don't need to make a point of avoiding. Oh, that was creepy. Um, Chaos calling us out there. Yeah, that's a little unnerving. Let's just double check what our alternatives are here. Could go Hermes or a Heart. Hermes would be good, but Chaos is also great. I mean, the problem with Chaos is that when you're this late on in the game, it does mean that you might have the downside of that Chaos boon affecting you in a fairly difficult fight. So we're hoping that whatever we pick up here, we can have that boon evolve quickly. Let's see what it is. We have it so our chamber rewards are hidden. Afterwards, gain a bloodstone. At least the downside of that is not too rough. Next foreign chambers also. Reviews are hidden. Afterward, dash strike deals more damage. Or when we attack, we take damage. That's a tough one. But afterward, our Damage goes up when we strike foes from behind. With our special, I feel like that's going to be pretty hard to make that happen. I think the special is, I mean, we're just going to be attacking whoever happens to be in it. They may be uh, getting hit from behind, they may not be. So, uh, 
don't love the positive side of any of these. Negative sides, in some cases, are not so bad. So I think maybe we go for the extra Bloodstone, because we do have a nice cast. I think we go that route. And having Chamber Rewards hidden is not the end of the world. Oh, I saw that. Right, except I didn't see that until the very last second. So this way, like we are saying, being able to pick up the... Oh, Thanatos. Pick up the Obols is good, because we might accidentally go into a shop here. Not a word of this to anyone. Let's go. Okay, so we want to try to beat you, of course. Just getting some extra light would be great. Okay, one person down. Two people down. Are we going to be able to beat Thanatos to you? Probably not. But you. You. Okay, we don't deal damage that quickly. It's a problem. Uh, please, please, go down. There we go. You. That we should be able to take out first. Thanatos is going to beat us a punch here. How are we doing here? We are beating him by a bit, but not a ton. Heal dude is also going to be hard to take out. Oh, when Thanatos takes him out, they also do not turn into eyeballs, which is difficult, because that is really the best time for us to rack up quick kills, because they have the lowest HP. Their blood zone's back. You don't like the ones with all of HP either. Get you. Get you. Okay. It's close. Closer than I would like this to be. If you report... Oh, Thanatos beats the punch! Oh, man. Oh, man. I think Thanatos might take this one at the last minute here. Oh, you beat us by one. <laughs> no! Ah. Little more aggressive on the cast would have done it, I think. Uh, might have had a few times there in the special. Where we could have snuck in a few more of those. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. So, could gain the gems and or whatever we find from the shop here. Centaur Soul, maybe this is making up for it a bit. We can get some max life from that. And then Yarn of Ariadne as well. I mean, that's a nice combo. Was it gem trove? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. I think if we go this route, it will drop us pretty low in terms of obols here, so that does mean that we won't know which room we're going into next, and if it is a shop, not going to have enough coins to even purchase a boon, so that's unfortunate. We are also somewhat low on HP here. We were going fairly aggressively in that previous uh, room there against Thanatos. Uh, you guys, did you, like, not do that? And also, could those traps not hit us? That would be preferable. You just chill there and get chilled, because now you should also be taking damage from that, because everyone is chilled in this room. I would very much like our bloodstones back. Where are they? Here's one of them. That took longer than it should have. Yeah, so I think... Oh, man, only 27 gems here. Do at least get also a nectar, but... I think we're finding that we do have some damage, yes, but it's kind of slow, the kind of damage, and it does rely on our enemies, say, pretty stationary, which is not always a given. So, I mean, your guess is as good as mine as to which room we ought to go into here. Which one will we find? It is, well, a room with enemies in it. That's what we actually get out of this room. Remains to be seen. Okay, let's have that blow up on them. Get rid of you before you come back. Same with you. Throw that out. A little special action. Have that blow up on all of you. That's great. Take you out. And uh, all of you, for that matter. Oh, uh, that cast would have been helpful to, you know, like, hit anything at all. There we go. Let's them back. Next wave. Uh, flame wheels. Okay. Some of them down. Oh, there's still more, though. We get the special to hit you. Uh, I think you're down. Cast takes out some of you guys. Get rid of one of the eyeballs, two of the eyeballs. Oh, three of the eyeballs. There we go. Oh, it's a hammer. Okay, we were saying earlier we would very much like to have one of these. Bull Rush charges up more quickly. We're not using too much of the Bull Rush because we are relying mostly on our special. Bull Rush gains a Power Rush that deals plus 500% damage. Wow. Or, after blocking a foe, gain 20% damage and move speed for 20 seconds, for 10 seconds rather. Hmm, this is a scroll. This is a scroll. I don't think any of these fits all that much with what we're looking to do. Because, of course, we're really looking for something special-oriented. I think I'm kind of leaning toward Ferocious Guard, because we could at least throw our special and then shield up and block some stuff and then 
deal some more damage and run around with our increased move speed. I think we go with this. There it is. But yeah, could have been better, I think. Still could have been better. We still have hidden rewards here, so I mean last time we seemed to luck out going with the hammer. But this time we'll take this one and we'll see what we get. It is oh. Okay, a shot. And we are on 200 mobiles here, meaning we would not be able to afford everything, but ooh, we are kind of low on HP, so getting 90 back, looking like that might not be a bad idea. We could afford both this boon here and life restoration, I think we do that. Get Aphrodite, and from that we can get different league is the rarest one. Resist some damage from nearby foes' attacks. That could be nice defensively. We also do not yet have an aid, and so that would be nice to have, something like that. Uh, hmm. I think... I think if we don't take an aid now, we are running the risk of going a very long time without having an aid. Or, you know, maybe even just not picking one up at all. So we might need to do this. I think we go that route. Let's break some hearts. Then let's get back up to close to full HP here. And we do still have the hidden chamber reward, so no idea what we got here. And of course, we don't have enough obols to... By that palm there, so I think we took the right room last time. Let's take the left room this time. Chaos now, chaos has expired. Chaos has expired. Come on. So that means, what did we gain? We got additional bloodstone, I think. Yeah, that should be helpful. How did you still hit us there? <laughs> did not look like you were using an attack animation there. Okay, well, the traps just gonna take you out for us? Kinda seemed like they would. There we go. Okay, you're down. Got some friends over here, though. Really hoping that would just stop circling over at that little bench there and stack a few more of those chills and deal more damage to you. But this works, though. Sure you don't want to just stay there? You are the only enemy right now, which means with you being chilled, you are taking extra damage. Oh, uh, where? That one that we just took out. I like to believe so. Okay, uh, take your pick as to who we ought to prioritize here. Minimize the butterflies. Maybe? Ooh, speaking of minimizing the butterflies, well, that's not how you do that. Could deliberately shield up. Because we do. Gain some extra damage and move the speed when we do that. Okay. Eyeball is now down. Get rid of the shield guys next, I think. Because they are, of course. Trading shields, making life a little bit more difficult for us. We do now have a meter. God gauge. For the first time in this run thus far. That is a factor. We could do a bit of that now. Not sure we would do anything in this instance, but there we go. Should fetch me something. And I heard something opening up. It sounded like maybe ooh, pool of purging. I mean, if we really wanted more ovals, we could get rid of something here, but. These are maybe killing freeze. You can make the case we could sell that, but oh man. Going to a hammer room next? Yes, please. Okay, who do we have here? Some archers. Let's try throwing that out. And then retreat. Where you cannot hit us. That first one was a whiff. Thank you. Now all you guys are trying- Oh, you still have the angle of I did not think you did. Oh, really? There we go. Now you're down. Let's make sure you don't come back. Try to stay mobile so that we don't get shot here. Yo, you down. Enough to get rid of you? No. Okay. Now let's get rid of the eyeball. That'll do. No, there's still more. Some flame wheels, okay. Oh, and an archer as well. Hanging out over here. Get that blow up in. That'd be great. Run away in time. No, you did not. That gotcha. There's still more? Wow. How big is this room? It's pretty crazy. Throw that out. Sure. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, don't like that very much. We can have some stuff blow up on people, or I mean, we don't have a ton of speed here. We also don't have any bloodstone back, which makes things a little bit more complicated. Right, 
don't know where this archer is, so it is hard to know where to flee to. You are shielded, which means that ain't gonna do much. Get rid of you, that'd be lovely. Now that also didn't go too well. Where is this archer? <laughs> uh, I would like to get rid of both the shieldy dudes and the archers. At least when you're standing all next to each other. You can do some of that stuff. Okay, one shield guy down. Wow. Man, we are taking a ton of damage here. This is just the world's longest room, it seems. Okay, no more bloodstones remaining. Which means, oh man, one more hit and we are on to a death defiance. Which is, of course, not something I'd very much like to do at the moment, but we are just not quite fast enough to avoid these guys at the moment. He's not reliably. Can we kill them? Maybe that helps. I'd like to believe. Ooh, no bloodstone either. Okay, you down. Just the archer. Come on. Please go down. And, uh, yeah, we'll just, you know, use our, our call on you. Yeah, so it's a hammer. That helps, yes, but wow. That has got to be one of the longest rooms I've ever had. I mean, we didn't do it very quickly in, in addition to that, but still, like, five waves, it seems. Okay, we can attack twice, but we don't knock foes away. Our bull rush charges up faster. We saw that previously, or our special deals 50 damage to foes around when we catch it. Hmm... So it seems like this is best for when you are throwing out your special and then bringing it back quickly, which is not really what we're doing. Although we are doing a lot of specials, we're mostly throwing it out and then letting it hang out there. So still not really what we're looking for here. And again, the bull rush is not super helpful either. Uh, it is nice to be able to bat people into our special so that if they aren't hanging out where we have our special spinning, we can make them go over there. I haven't been doing too much of that as of late, or at least not making much of a conscious effort to, so if we were to take this, it's probably the best. However, it makes it so that we can no longer do that. Let's give it a shot, though. Perfect. I, I wouldn't necessarily call it perfect. But we have, ooh, Patroclus, or Palm Hero. Let's just double check if there's anything else in here. I don't think there was. I think, given how we are on such low HP, let's go Patroclus. We don't have any death defiances that we need back, but he can give us some healing. Soldier in here, no? Oh, we interrupted him. Sorry. What are you up to, Patroclus? Should we give something to you? Why don't we? We don't see you too often. A means to drown my sorrows temporarily. That's good, but rather kind of you, I have to say. Well, you're welcome. It's nothing. Thank you for not trying to slay me where I stand and boast about it. Yeah, you probably could if you wanted to right now. Here. Okay, so let's talk. So, how's Achilles doing, Lincoln Stranger? I figured you could tell me since you've all this access to him, but I don't. Sorry about that. Yeah. He's forced to do my father's bidding and sworn to secrecy, apparently. I don't pretend to fully understand, but all in all, I think he's doing well. I hope. You'll see him for yourself. Yeah, hopefully there's a way for us to get them back together. Don't know what that might be, but... but hope. I see. Well, if you do get to the bottom of this little mystery at some point, you'll indulge me, won't you? That we will, for sure. I'll see what I can do about it, sir. Okay. But, in terms of our actual rewards here from Patroclus, we could, of course, restore all of our death defiances. We don't have any that we've lost yet. We came very close in that previous room there but i'm thinking something like hydrolyte gold restoring 30 percent hp whenever we enter a chamber might be what we need to avoid having to use one of those death defiances otherwise the cyclops jerky for 60 percent damage i mean we would love if this was special damage not attack damage but i think we go with hydrolyte gold take care then so what is next we could go for a shop and that would be a way of making sure that we don't take any damage in this next room here and just have a little bit more time to have that Hydrolite get us up to a comfortable place, HP-wise. Otherwise, another Demeter Boon, that is probably something that we would like to have. Like we've been saying, uh, Demeter Attack Boon might be our preferred Attack Boon here, but I think 
we kind of need to go this route if we want to try to avoid using that death defiance and i think that is probably what we should prioritize here because next room is the boss there was a fishing spot here somewhere that's where exactly over here okay let's do this first i'm pretty sure we just pointed our rod in completely the opposite direction there but sure there we go it's a car okay so then in terms of what we can actually get here we don't have a ton of ovals that is one downside to having chosen this route here and i suppose if this if we knew this was going to be the last room before the boss fight then we would have known that we would not have fought any enemies in the other room anyway it would have been a free demeter boon but we could, we could pick up more life we could pick up a random boon could be demeter could be something entirely different we just don't know oh do we still have the special damage we do wow okay so that is actually quite helpful to have that still active going into this next room here so we can only afford one of these or we could yes we could restore hp and then also purchase one of these i think that is worthwhile given how we are about to go into a boss fight here let's let's go this route and it is demeter and we can get the dash we can get rare crop your boons become common then gain rarity every three encounters oh if we got this earlier it would have been great but getting it now especially when we already have such rare boons we already have numerous epic and in some cases even heroic rarity boons i think on this occasion it actually doesn't work out that well for us so this one of course does give us the scroll and it is epic rarity but i think nourish soul at least given the circumstances when we are currently on low hp and perhaps about to take some more hp restoration this is pretty fitting right about now so we'll take that and well may actually mean we can save some mobiles here not purchase this and it would get us up to maximum hp but to be over healing a lot of course it'd be fantastic if we could also pick this up but we can't so in hindsight does that mean we would have been better served going into the demeter room yes probably because we ended up buying a demeter boom but again we didn't necessarily know definitively as to whether we would have uh been in the last room there and gotten the free boom yes also we get to max hp with the hydrolyte gold and you guys you're going down okay so we have a preference in terms of who we tried to take out first i feel like it might actually be theseus because i think that our special might be more effective against him because he's gonna stand still like this fairly often or at least be relatively stagnant if we can kill everyone which seems like that's fairly doable and that will of course give us some bonus damage we'll just make sure that we have that special eh, it's not really hitting him now Let's do that but that's yeah wasn't really aimed for the long term this one well was going to be hold on Let's do that and Asterius is chasing behind us Serious. I mean, you are chilling over here, so it would be easier to hit you, but I do want to try to prioritize Theseus. Oh, Serious is chasing us. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Need to focus on that for the moment. Are we getting you with the special right now, Theseus? Yes, we are. Okay. That's the idea. And both of you are chilled, so you are both theoretically taking a little bit of damage here. It's a bit of a war of attrition. Okay. Hold on. Do that. Uh, where are you? There you are. that. Oh, that's actually hidden. Serious. Not PCS that time. But you are the target I would like to hit. Okay, I think he's at half HP now, so yep, he's getting angry. Which means we definitely want to hit him. And oh, I think we had our we had our, uh, our special right where we wanted it to be, and then I moved it, so that was not the best idea there, but oh, don't get stuck there. Do you have a greater call as well? Who will it make? Our friend? Answer is apparently Theseus. Probably still attacking though. <laughs> He's down. Okay, so just Asterius left. He is chasing us, which means let's have our shield chase us as well. You are more mobile, yes. So it might be a little bit harder for us to have our special work. But if you do chase us, then as long as we have it falling behind us like this, then that could be enough. 
Could you say get a little bit closer? That would be helpful. Damn, oh, that actually hit us. I that did too. <laughs> I'll give you that. I was not really expecting you to do that. And okay, now let's have this following behind us. Uh ideally, so it does this. Now you are phasing. Which means, yeah, your attacks like that are going to be a little bit bigger. Oh, you're chasing us now as well. Okay, as long as we have our shield chasing behind us, then that should do us some favors. Except you're a little bit faster than our shield, unfortunately. But hey, just keep on doing it. There we go. More of the same? Not quite this time. Though you are the only enemy right now, so you are chilled. You are taking damage when you're chilled. Get the blood zones back. We do have four of those, remember? That is helpful in that regard as well. Whoa, okay. Special back out. Bring it back. Oh my hand. Wow. It's a little unpredictable sometimes where those are gonna deflect to. The rest of our blood zones right now. Also, let's get the special back out. Bring it back to us. There we go. The last blood zones hanging out over here, I think. Yup. Okay. Oh, we are full on this. I mean it's a little strange when we only have one enemy, but hey, it's enough to take him out. So there we go. Not too bad. Theseus Minotaur is right there. And as I said earlier, that is actually the farthest we've ever gone with the shield, which is a little, a little sad, to be honest with you. But hey, there we go. First time for everything. So that brings us up to not quite full HP, but once we do this, now we are. And we, of course, still have all of our Death Defiances. So in that regard, we're looking pretty good. We could, ooh, upgrade the rarity of our next boon with Yarn of Ariadne. It would bring us down to basically zero obols. So that would mean we'd have to spend a little bit of time gaining some coins first, or maybe going down some rooms in the Temple of Sticks to make that happen. But I think that is awfully tempting. So let's go that route. And then do we have anything we want to switch around for our keepsakes here? Because we did pick up a boon from Demeter, which I suppose I wasn't really thinking about how the Frostbitten Horn was the thing that was making that happen, but maybe that's why she kept on showing up. So, like I was saying, I think we probably do want to take something that is specifically with the final boss in mind, so something like the Evergreen Acorn. Normally, my preference would be the Broken Spear Point, but we did use that in Tartarus unintentionally, and we swapped over to other things in between. So, yeah, let's go for the Evergreen Acorn here, just to play it safe here, because I think we have... What, as we saw, can be a decent setup when we are going against just a few enemies, and then it gets easier for us to apply the Frozen Touch. Or no, not Frozen Touch. The Killing Freeze, rather, when all foes are chilled. But when there are multiple enemies in there, then it gets a little more difficult. Other things here we can't afford in terms of selling foods. I don't think we want to do any of that. So, let's carry on. So we're hoping that, I mean, if we could, like, pick up some golden urns on our way into Temple of Sticks, that oftentimes is a thing. That would be great, because we are pretty broke at the moment. But I don't think we got any, which is, uh, that's a rarity. That is a rarity. Okay. And that does mean that, of course, everything here is too expensive for us. This is an interesting option here. Swapping one hammer upgrade for two random upgrades. I feel like if we could afford that, that might be one of the best options for us because we do have some hammer upgrades. I'm not a huge fan of them though, so like, like this is okay. But then where's our other one? The attack twice, but we don't knock foes away. This does almost nothing for us because we're not really using our attack very often. We don't even have an attack boon right now. So we could swap things around there. I think that would be pretty great for us. It's not even that expensive, 275, but we are just completely broke at the moment. So our next boon will have increased rarity. So that means we could, if we were to go Artemis, make sure that she has a high rarity boon or Aphrodite or Hermes. Aphrodite is a mini boss, so I'd perhaps prefer to wait it out on her and see if we do need to go that route, not prioritize it per se. Now, Hermes, I feel like maybe that is the best one for us to prioritize here. Let's go for that one. That'll be the one that gets the uh, Yarn of Ariadne increased rarity. I hate satyrs. Please go down immediately. Okay, there we go. It's down. No damage taken, thank goodness. We'll keep on moving. 
guys. Take you out before you get the chance to laser beam us. And if you just chill there, then I suppose we can make it happen. Uh, that is not a good place for us to be standing for that. There we go. Golden urn. Don't mind if I do. But we still have a long ways to go from an oval standpoint. Oh, that is another Seder. And that is... It's a nasty combo between the Seder and the laser beamer over here. If you ever to one of you, that would be fantastic. That we did. Now Seder's the only one in here and he is frozen. So we'll take some damage and we'll take him out. Took a tiny bit of damage. Not too much, though. Okay, you are a mini-boss version of this enemy here. Let's just send this over there. Oh, that... What? What happened to our special? It's supposed to be chilling over there. Yeah, it wants to go back to us. Let's do that. Hang out. Hang out over there. We can deal all your damages. There we go. I think there was a golden air there. Golden urn there as well, and we broke that, so... A little bit more obols from that as well. Okay, is this our final room? I think it is, and it is a lot of laser beams. So, we'd love to take out some of you guys quickly so we can minimize the amount of damage that we take from all this because there aren't too many places for us to hide to avoid those laser beams at the moment. This is one of them. And I'm not sure that's really going to break anything or well, hit anything. This trap here, but in the blood zones back, that's useful. Oh, I don't like the satyrs! Get rid of you as soon as possible. That would be my preference. Oh, I got stuck. <laughs> Did we get poison there? No, we didn't. Surprise. Okay, please go down. Please go down. There we go. Okay, now let's get rid of you. You're almost down. Another super satyr. Sorts. I'd like to get rid of you. Which we have not yet done. There are also laser beamers, and we do have this. Full power Aphrodite. Okay. You could go down. That would be lovely. Yes. Over to you. Also, yes. Now it might just be you. Okay, it took more damage than I would have liked there for sure. Did get a little bit messy at the end. That was a difficult room, though. Not many places to hide from all that ranged damage. In the name of Hades. And here, this is, oh, exactly what I was hoping we would pick up, the special speed. Now, does that mean, I suppose I didn't really think about this part specifically, but is it just the speed at which we throw our shield? Because if so, then we're throwing it once, then we're leaving it out there for the most part. Or does it also affect the frequency at which it deals damage? Because if so, then that's the big one. That's what I was hoping for. That's why I thought this was such a big deal for us. But dashing two more times in a row defensively is huge. And then 20% dodge chance is also basically just 20% reduced damage. So these are really good defensively. This is really strong offensively if it works the way that I hope it works. So it's a bit of a tricky one in terms of which one we prioritize here. Let's go with... Hmm, let's go with the damage, I hope. hope I'm correct in that it is facing that special speed off of how frequently that actually hits rather than just... How quickly we throw it out. Maybe it's both, in which case, sure. But if it's only the speed at which we throw it out, then that's not really a factor at all. Okay, now we have 135 ovals, which is still not enough for anything here. The cheapest would be Demeter or Zeus. But I would very much like to pick that up there. The hammer swap. Okay, so now we don't have the whole next spoon that we pick up has increased rarity. So that means that no real time sensitive or not as much of a time sensitive matter in terms of which one we prioritize between artemis and aphrodite as i said aphrodite is a mini boss so we don't have to go that route i'd say let's not let's take the heart next though because we are fairly low on hp at the moment and i don't like the satyrs you don't need me to tell you that i'm sure you already know that there we go okay Carrying on. Yeah, we're on a little bit low HP here. So I think... Oh, and that didn't help. Picking up the additional HP from this room should help us out. More rats? Yes. There we go. Cast is useful for that, but they were quick. He managed to damage us a little bit there. 
big rats this time. Oh, and... Oh, I thought that was a Seder there for a second. Are you both killed? I think so. I think we are getting the bonus damage here, and we'll just let that hang out right there. There we go. That is the setup that we want, is basically just have this hang out right on top of all the enemies. That's not that either. Maximize our damage. Okay. Let's get rid of you, or at least try to. I think again, our, our special did not really cooperate. It wants to come back to us immediately. It's not what I want. There we go. Okay. Got another golden urn there, so we're near the threshold we're looking for. Okay, this is another big room here. Does not have Seder Sack in it. This is another one that could prove rather difficult for us. Maybe not stand right next to where all those uh, spike things are going. Those buzz saws. Also, we'll learn there, but one step at a time here. That's also poison. Let's not stand there. Also, probably not a great idea. If you want to hang out there, that's fine. Okay. That is a super Seder of sorts, and I walk into that. Uh, where where can we where can we get rid of the poison, please? I I did not know. Uh, this could very well mean we are going to need to use death defiance, which is of course bad timing on that. Okay. Do this to get the satyr to become friendly. Which is useful for now. Ooh, and I almost walked into that poison there. Oh, there's another round. And we are poisoned, which means we are certainly toast here. Oh, there's another. Oh, uh, wait, that we can heal it right here, but this is... I don't like this room. <laughs> I don't like this room. I think I've... I may have heard other people say in the past that this is what they think is the most difficult room in sticks. We got poisoned again. This one with the, uh, the buzz saws. In any room with satyrs in it, I think it's tough. I think they might be gone now, though. I think it's just this guy remaining. If that is the case, then this should be a fair bit easier. Okay, as long as we don't have poison at the very end there. So yeah, we did have to use Death Defiance, which is, of course, not the best timing for that. We are on now 365 H... or Obols, rather. So we could go back. And we could... Purchase this. I think we do want to do. So, as a reminder, we currently have Pulverizing Blow. So our attacks hit twice, but they don't knock foes away. That's, that's not a huge deal. And then we can block, and then afterward gain damage and movement speed. We could probably be making a more committed effort to do this against enemies like the Satyrs. So maybe we'd prefer to have that one. Let's see what we lose here. We lose one of them, and we'll gain two random boons. We'll lose the guard, and then we got... Let's check it out. This is the one that we kept. This one we gained. Your special deals 50 damage to foes around you when you catch it. We were seeing this as an option before, but we were saying maybe not super relevant because for the most part, we're going to throw out our special and then not bring it back. We want it to stay out there. And then Bull Rush gains a power charge. We also saw this as an option, but did not opt to take it. We're not using much in terms of attacks, so we did get... New hammer upgrades, yes, but still not really ones that are terribly useful to us, which means in terms of what our next upgrade we'd like to pick up might be, I'd say it's about anything we can afford here, so maybe, probably Demeter. Again, we're looking for maybe a Demeter attack boon might be best. Still don't have a dash either. So where do we go next? I think we prioritize Artemis here, and we hope that this is where we find the Seder Sack. And take out those satyrs. And you got me. And I walked straight back into the poison. Okay, if we just throw this out here and the satyr's still alive. Not for long, though. Okay. So that was not a great start. Here we have more of these guys. They're all standing next to each other. That is quite helpful. So then we can just do some of this. And no golden urns back there. Let's keep on moving. Okay. Some big rats, and that is a satyr as well. Yeah, I would like that blood some back if we can. That'd be great. Oh, you hit me. Fortunately, we were fairly close to cure that time. Satyr down. Just you. 
to be able to get special on you. There is... Ooh. One of these wells, and this is what we would have loved to have had. This is a way to get back the Death Defiance. The only way we can make that happen now, realistically. And yet, we don't have the ovals to do it. So, that is quite a tease. Quite a tease, indeed. Now, we could increase the rarity of our next boon, in which case, getting this next Artemis boon would be a high rarity. However, however, we are on 130 ovals right now. That means that if we were to do this, we would probably not be able to afford a boon in the shop when we get back. So basically the question is, do we prefer getting higher rarity on this Artemis boon, or would we rather get this whatever rarity Artemis boon we get without the Yarn of Ariadne and an additional boon likely from Demner when we get back? I think we might prefer to have two boons instead, and we'll take our chances on this Artemis boon here to see we might happen to get high rarity anyway. I think we saved the ovals, basically. Okay, Super Seder, and that, well, didn't exactly work out. Okay, we'll do with that. And if we could just take you out altogether, that would be lovely. Thank you. Okay, so this might be the last room along this path, so we're hoping for the sack. Do we get it? We do. Here we are. Okay, so let's just see. Any golden urns? Of coin there. Yes. And we are now over the threshold that we need to be to be able to purchase an additional boon. As for what rarity we get from this boon here, we do have some epic rarity ones, so maybe we would have found that picking up the yarn, yarn of Ariadne would not have made much of a difference. Bows take damage when your bloodstones suck in them are dislodged. That's a lot of damage, but how often is that really going to happen? We still don't have an attack boon, so I do think that, well, we were saying we probably want to have Demeter's boon for that. So we can afford that when we get back. Maybe we hold on to the, the ovals for that and, and save the attack boon for that as well and instead take either Hunter's Mark or Exit Wounds. Hunter's Mark does mean that it has the chance of increasing our critical strike chance on our special, whereas Exit Wounds does not. I mean, this is higher rarity, so in some respects it stands out more, but I do think that this might fit better with what we're trying to do. Let's go for it. I don't think it's a great fit. A sack fit for a huge three but there's the Seder sack. Here's Life Restoration almost bringing us up to full. Of course, we were not able to purchase the Kiss of Sticks there, so we are only on two out of three Death Defiances at the moment, and suddenly we also have a fishing spot here somewhere. Yeah, usually it's back here. Let's do this. See what we can get. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. A long one. That's not it either. That's it. Oh, stone wall. Nice. Okay, so we have enough for one more boon here. I think, in all likelihood, we will not opt to go down either of these rooms here because we know that they won't have the Seder Sack, which means they will have mini bosses, which means we will be at risk of taking a lot more damage. And after using a Death Defiance already, I think that means we are not in great shape, perhaps, if we were to not spend our ovals right now go down another room we might find another well and that well might have another kiss of sticks that at that point we hope we're able to afford but that's awfully speculative and i think that's such a low chance of happening we are pretty darn sure we'll end up taking some more damage along the way against some difficult enemies here so i think probably overall better to cut our losses go for this boon here and hope that it is enough we're looking for the attack boon we got it it is epic rarity as well so that is nice we could of course get the scroll from the dash or ooh, this is an interesting one while you have no bloodstones we take 10 percent less damage and deal 20 percent more damage so this does affect our special it does also give us some defensive boosts here it doesn't make it any easier for us to apply chills to everyone in the arena, which was why that attack boon from Demeter was standing out to me. So, it's, mm, it's tricky. I think, I mean, we'd like to have both of these, basically. But I think we go with the, the Frost Strike here. We would like to have both. We can't afford both, of course, and I don't think it is worth going down additional rooms just to get more ovals. And we, of course, won't have any access to any additional Demeter boons there. That was our last one there. It would mostly just be 
maybe Zeus if we went down another roof, but I think it's too risky at this point. So let's head on out and hope that this is enough. It's, it could be close. I think we do have a setup that we saw against Theseus and Minotaur was pretty effective, but the final boss can get a bit more crowded. And so we have seen in some of those more crowded rooms, we've struggled a bit here. So I think a lot of it is going to just come down to execution. See you, boy. This is by no means a given. But hopefully, hopefully, we can make it happen. Father. Hello. It's me. You come here bearing brother Zeus's aegis. I wonder how much more insulting you could be. Oh. S sorry? I guess? Uh, not really. What? I haven't even started to insult you here yet, Father. Yeah, come on. I'm flustered by the old shield of chaos, then. Doubtless Zeus does not even remember wielding it. I never should have relied on him for anything after that. Then come. Let's see if you're any better with it than your great uncle. Oh, great uncle, you say? Oh, huh? Or is he actually, like, not our uncle? He's, you know, our great uncle. He's our uncle's father. Yeah, that might be nice. Okay, so you are currently the only enemy, which means you are killed and therefore taking some damage. Apparently, you don't take that damage when you're uh, frozen, or when you're invisible, though. You have the acorn. We won't take damage the first few times we get hit, but we did use one of those already. If you stand still like that, that works out quite well for us. Please don't disappear, though. Get rid of these while we can. And then he'll throw more of them. <laughs> Just avoided that, I think. That was not our uh, our acorn that was giving us that immunity. I think legitimately dodged it. Okay, now you're disappearing. I'm not sure we're going to have time to destroy that. Let's just dash through it. That one we did have to resist with our acorn. It is helping us here for sure. Definitely get this out. Yeah, you just steal there. all. Oh, had it. Had it working for a second. I missed a few of those. But you are. Oh, you were marked. So we would have had a higher crit chance. That would have been great. Okay, and now on to the first phase here, meaning you will start to bring friends. This is where things get tricky. Fortunately, well, with some weak enemies there, that's not really the type of enemy we want to be using our acorn procs on. But our cast should be able to deflect between different enemies there, and that should mean the numb skulls can go down pretty easily here. Let's make sure we get this out as well. There we go. Oh, I did not even see that one coming. That one snuck up on me. Let's bring this. Oh, I was gonna say, bring this back out. That's that. Oh, and the second one didn't quite have the timing on that one. Okay. We could have this attack you, please. Oh, that did hit us. And now we are out of the damage resistance here, and that is not good timing for that. Let's use this. And that, ooh, does trigger your next phase. I was wondering. We might have wanted to wait on it. Perhaps we should have. Okay. Disappearing again, so let's take out your friends. You have a friend that can freeze us in place. That is a little bit scary. This one here. And that's also going to blow up. If we don't do something about that immediately, and we weren't quite quick enough to make it happen. Ooh, not sure we might have actually avoided that. Might have expired right as we dashed out of the way. Okay, let's get this back where we want it to be. Well, that's not where we want to be sitting. Pinned us in a bit of a corner there. It's just not great positioning on our part. Okay, you are the only enemy right now, I think. Oh no, you guys, do they count? They might. So I thought you would be taking some kill damage. Now you are. Sit you this way. Close. Oh, that home's a bit. Hitting the next phase. Hello? Can we throw these at you, perhaps? And that? And just have this chase us so that it hits you. And then you can keep on following us like that if you want. Love to keep this charged up for the next phase. That would be fantastic. 
There we go. Next phase. That's a good start. Haven't used any death defiances yet, but of course, Acorn has expired, and now you're not going to be pleased with us. It does cover the entire arena. Wow. And you will, of course, start to get mad. Is that what is about to happen here? Not yet. We have the potential. Yeah. Situations like this. We can get our shield in the right place. Oh, that's a nasty combo there. If we can get our shield right on you when you're doing that, then that is amazing. We want to get rid of as many of these as we can. Give us a little more wiggle room here. And we'll just have you destroy all them for us. Did you disappear? No, you did not disappear. Now uh, that also just whiffed. Let's get the shield back over to you. Please don't hit us with that. Okay, now you're doing... Oh, looks like you're doing something. Maybe not. Laser beams? No. Attach to this. Throw this. Do you have any bloodstones? We don't. Are you thinking about the laser beams? You are. Can we throw the shield beyond this? I don't think we can. No, we can't. Okay. We do have the fully charged... Uh, this? Call? Let's do it. Oh, we used the Death Defiance there of all time? Pretty sure you were still technically on our side here. Maybe not. Okay. Laser beams, yes. Oh, nope, except not. Maybe not. Okay, that. Ooh, we just barely avoided. We have one Death Defiance remaining, notably. We could get rid of some of these. That'd be great. Get a little more room. Shield can also destroy some stuff. That would also be nice. Ooh, just barely avoided that. Get this going, and ooh, yep, just in time. Take cover there. So close. So close to having the shield. Get you while you were doing that. That would be ideal. Okay. Can we do that again? That didn't quite hit you. Okay, that will. Get the shield coming back, please. Doing laser beams? I thought you were for a second. Looked like you were charging them up. Uh, you might be now. Uh, what? Oh, okay. I uh, didn't really see that coming. Okay, you're breaking some of them for us. Oh, I got clever. Tried to dash over to the other side. Okay. Take this out. Yes, we can. Not sure what you're doing there. Oh, you're getting stuck in the shield. This is exactly what we want. Yes, stay right there. Right there. If you want a laser beam, now is fine. Do that, sure. Oh, except, yep, those will still hit us. That's okay. I'll take it. Do you have this as well? And that is enough to get it done. Ah, blast. That you of all my kin would be the one to do this to me. What? Are you yet satisfied? Not yet. We need answers. Fess up, Dad. All right. And we did actually hold on with still one Death Defiance remaining. So a lot of very high rarity booms, of course. The big thing was that we had the Flourish here, the special boom. And then we had a little bit of rarity, uh, or we had lots of rarity, but a little bit of crit coming from a few of our Artemis boons as well. And then that was really the, the big thing that was helping us out there. And ultimately, yes, we did get a, a few minutes there toward the end where he was taking a lot of damage when he got stuck there with the shield on top of him. So that was ideal. And that is our first successful shield run. Beyond the frozen overlook, await the first glimpse of the sun to your left, then onward through the cold. So on to Greece we go, in hopes of finding Mom. That it's, is just hi. amazing. Okay. I'm here. Is she? Oh, it's you. Yes, I'm she here, is. Mother. Okay. And oh, look at this. There's actually a fishing spot over here. What? Hold on. 
don't think we've ever seen one of these. Quick one as well. It's a bass? What's that? Never heard of one of those before. <laughs> Mom's phrasing our cat. Thanks, Mom. You don't have any more hiding over like back. Wow, there's actually a bunch of space back here. No. Wow. Yeah, good thing to pick that up. Sure. Mother, I discovered how come father led you to believe that I could not survive past birth. He didn't lie to you exactly. So he says. Mm. Sure. Wait, slow down, Zagreus. Yeah, do slow down. He told me you would not survive your birth, yet here you are. How wasn't that a lie? Yeah, it, he explains, Zagreus. You, you lost me a bit as well. Because he thought it was the truth. The fates appointed him dominion over the entire underworld, but he would never have an heir, so he was led to understand. He never expected me to be born, much less survive. Hmm. Okay. He never Interesting. expected you to survive. Then, forgive my asking, but why did you? How did you? The fates are not known for making mistakes when it comes to such things. Yeah, that is, that's pretty crazy stuff. Nick saved my life. But supposedly it was Nick. Gave me life, I guess. Then raised me in your absence. The fates are her daughters, right? Maybe she persuaded them to go easier on me. She cannot say more. In any case, apparently it took her quite a while to revive me, and by then you were gone. Yeah, that is crazy that Nyx was somehow able to do that. And, you know, we were talking about how Nyx, at least initially we thought she was our mother, and then we learned that it wasn't actually her, but Demeter. But the fact that she revived us in a way, in some ways, means that she is, I don't know, you could call her our second mother of sorts? Nyx, of course she was involved. I only managed to escape because of her. Oh, wow. And she restored my stillborn son to life and nurtured him. And I never would have known unless that child, fully grown and having learned the truth, defied his father and then found me here. Yeah, when you put it that way, that is a pretty crazy low probability chance of that happening. Yes, although we still don't know how come father and Nick's never sent for you. Though, uh, oh, no. Let me ask you something, mother. If you please, if you had found out that I was born and very much alive, would you have come back? Yeah, but also, like, we are alive right now, and still you haven't come back? Would come I on, Mom. Back <laughs> to see my only child? Had I but known you lived, I would have gladly gone through hell again to see you, Zagreus. But, like, we just did to see you. Of course I would have. So, like... Talk is cheap. Well, then, I demand action. What if, uh, what if father didn't want you doing that? I suppose maybe Hades wouldn't take too kindly but to that. But then again, he's not exactly taking too kindly to us trying to fight our way through the underworld either. What if he didn't want me coming back to him? Or seeing you? Oh no, you're fading again, Zagreus. You've pushed yourself too hard. But what is it you meant by what you said? Well, we'll have to explain it's next time. A hunch of mine. And I'll be back. Down we go. F Father wanted her to leave, didn't he? Seems like it. All right, hold on. No Hypnos doesn't have the chance to talk to us about how, well, we didn't die in the Underworld. Oh, hold on. What about this? Hey, welcome. Don't get on Nyx's bad side. We have seen a cause of death fall damage. What? <laughs> we have seen that Nyx, although, of course, has done some amazing things, has also shown a bit of a temper at times. Please do uh -oh. not suffer us. Do so. You made Hades mad? Quite a mess you've created, I must say, Father after being of no help whatsoever when it comes to disentangling it all. Though this isn't the place to talk, right? Oh, Zagreus, firing shots. No, yeah, Hades is not going to like that. Not. Though I take it it shall not be long before another of our private meetings then. Oh, yeah, you could say that. Count on that. Okay, uh, Dusa? Oh, what? Uh, you weren't a part of that conversation? I'm a little surprised. Um, here you go, boy. Triple order, just Oh, you're feeding Cerberus? Hey, Cerberus. Hey, boy. 
Just as long as one of your three heads enjoys these pets. Good boy. I'm sorry he disturbed you, Cerberus. Disturbed? What do you mean? Cerberus not there. Okay. Your Highness. Oh? Achilles, you have something to say to us? Of course, we did check in with Patroclus, so you might have something to say about that. How did it go, lad? You've been gone a while. For good reason, I hope. Yeah, that is, that is the case. Him, sir, and we were able to talk some more. But I have so many questions left for her, and Father's certainly not been of any help. Yeah, you know, he's like the primary person who's trying to keep us down here, preventing us from speaking to her. Well, first of all, good work. I knew you had it in you. Secondly, you know what you have to do. Go find her for as many chances as it takes. It's not just her you've sought. It's the answers to those questions that you have. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I will. Achilles, always good for some motivational speaking. As for Thanatos? I met her, you know. Persephone, I oh? mean. You look more like your father, but you have her eyes. One of them, anyway. Yeah, we do have eyes that are two different colors. So <laughs> which one is it, I suppose? You never spoke of her to me. The green one? You must have known. You kept the truth from me. The same as Nyx. Oh, uh, Thanatos! It's not like that. Is it, though? I don't know any more than you. Besides, Lord Hades ordered all of us to never speak of her again. I thought it just a bad relationship. I didn't realize she left her son. Okay, I guess we'll give you the benefit of the doubt there, but... I don't know, Thanatos. That didn't look good for a second there. Something tells me Father wouldn't let her take me even if she wanted. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, it does seem like Hades just has it out for us. Hope Orpheus is okay. Yeah, no Orpheus. Contractor? Prices are a little steep there, I must say. Yeah, unfortunately we can't afford anything here at the moment. Okay. When you reach the surface. This is true. Nix, one moment. Let us just see if there's anything going on in here. We have plenty of fish to give to the head chef here. I come to you bearing aquatic beasts. Or aquatic beasts, for that matter. Totally okay. worth it. Totally worth it, indeed. Wretched Broker? What's on the old exchange? Do you make any exchanges here for darkness, for nectar? That does seem like that could be a good deal. Sure, let's do that. That's too good a deal to pass on. I agree. And then we could even convert nectar into... Oh no, keys into nectar. We don't have enough nectar yet to convert that into a diamond, so... Okay, I think the other things will probably need to wait. But Nyx... Yes, let's check in. Nix, why did you never send word to Mother that I lived? Yeah, that is a little strange. You knew at least approximately where she went. You and Father, you could have spared us so much pain. That is, it's really strange that you did not tell our Mother that you saved our lives. That would seem like that's pretty crucial information to share, generally speaking. I swore a binding oath never to say, child. Oh. I have already circumvented it as much as can be done. You know that we that I acted with only her well-being in mind, as well as yours. Okay, I mean, that maybe is part of the whole deal that Nyx made, where she was able to revive us, but seemingly, well, as she says here, made no never to say, maybe that's why the Fates were willing to let it happen, and she said it took all of her power. Uh. Yeah, still feels like there's more of that story to unravel there. Maybe if we give you a little bit of nectar, you might be willing to tell us a little more. No gift which you could bring me can exceed the value of our kinship, child. And she does still see us as a child. For a child. It's nothing, Nix, really. I know you've always believed in me, and it's not something I ever take for granted. I am grateful. Thank you, Nix. Okay. So, I don't think we picked up too much in the way of darkness on that run there. Double check. Of course, we did also just purchase a bit with our darkness. So, we do still have the ability to get one more darkness upgrade with Faded Authority here. It does cost a thousand. So, we have a ways to go there. Other than that, let's just double check if there's anything we can do in our room. I don't think so. Hey, boy out. What's up, Skelly? So what exactly happened with the formerly pink window over there? Huh? Now it's got these sinister orange flames and an enormous pact of punishment hanging ominously. That is true. Exit. Father stopped by. Pal, I don't know a thing about it, honest. I was just minding my own business when all of a sudden, wham! I get hit right in the back. I fall to pieces, no idea what's going on. 
when I finally come to the window job was done. Hmm. As likely an explanation as any, I guess. <laughs> okay. So yeah, with that, as I said, that was our first successful escape with the shield. So glad to have done that. And then that means that next time round, what do we have remaining? I think we've done, what is it? One successful run with the rail. This I think is going to remain the most difficult one for me. I tend to struggle most with this weapon. So maybe we try that. The bow, we have done one successful attempt with that. The spear, we're still looking to get one more with that. So we did, of course, try to take down Hades with the aspect of Hades on this. Aspect of Achilles, what does this do? After your special, you can retrieve your spear with Raging Rush. Raging Rush means press Q, dash to your spear, damaging foes. So it's almost like a reverse special. Instead of throwing out your spear, you come charging back to your spear. That is post rush damage bonus 50%. Wow. Okay, so that seems like a very aggressive play style where you're throwing your spear into the enemies and then you come charging straight into them. So I wonder what the best way to synergize with that might be. Otherwise, we could just go for the aspect of Zachary, special damage, range, and speed. Okay, so that might be worth considering going forward. Otherwise, I think the sword we've done the most with that. Yeah, three successful attempts with that, so definitely wouldn't be sword that would be our next priority there. So I think we're probably looking at a spear run next time around. And with that, let's just head over. Because of course that was a successful run, our best shield run to date. And I wasn't sure if we were gonna have enough to get the job done because it wasn't until we saw that we got the spinning shield against Hades pinned in a corner that we could deal enough damage to take him out. But with that, we say hello to mom one more time, get a few more of our questions answered, but we certainly have more to go from there. So, I'll catch you guys next time. See you then.